good afternoon friends welcome back to the channel hitchhiking yeti here and today our adventures brings us back to carolina beach and today i would like to take you along with me to the carolina beach farmers market but first we have to go start it off start this morning off right and go get us some coffee so speaking of coffee right over there is the mcdonald's here in carolina beach that i would that i will frequent from time to time to get my coffee but today I think I want to support a local shop. So we're going to walk over here to the Crush and Grind coffee shop and uh, maybe get us a nice vanilla latte. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, went into the Crush and Grind and we have us a vanilla latte. So now we have our coffee. stuff and now on the way we're probably about three or four blocks away from the area where the farmers market is actually being held over at the lake at carolina beach lake so on our walk over i do want to make a few little pit stops and show you a little some some of the cb murals that they have here particularly one of the most new one of the newest ones which i think is called like kites in flight or something like that and uh it's really pretty and it's really special to me because i got to see the the whole process i got to see the beginning the middle and the end while they was working on this so uh that was pretty pretty fascinating to see so this mural right here has been here for quite a while and this is on the side of the crush and grind coffee shop where we just got our coffees but right next to it is the arcade and this here is one of the newer murals here in town and this is the one that I've, I watched them. They had the skyjacks out here and was painting this thing and drawing it up. And it was really cool to see this thing come to life. And they did a fantastic job. And it is just so nice and beachy looking. Unfortunately, we don't have pretty sunshine today to show off how, how much the colors actually pop. But uh, this is on the back side of the arcade here on the boardwalk. So if you get a chance, come by and take a look at it. So this next mural, this is painted on the side of the, uh, the dive restaurant. And this is uh, my wife's favorite mural. And I understand why, because just look how colorful and bright. Even on a cloudy day, this, this painting really pops off the wall. And here recently, we posted a picture of me and my wife standing in front of this mural probably about six months ago, or maybe better than that. And Carolina Beach on Instagram actually got in touch with us to ask us if we could uh, if they could use this photo with us in it and of course we said sure and so now when you go on Instagram and if you're uh, following Carolina Beach you will see us standing the hitchhiking Yeti standing in front of this mural right here so that was kind of exciting that was pretty cool so now I've made my way up here to uh, Lake Park Boulevard as we make our way toward the farmers market area there's one more place of interest i want to show you there's a bar up here it's actually the number one dive bar in north carolina and this bar looks like no other bar i have ever seen before and i just want to share it with you and let, let you uh take a look at it and see what you think about it all right friends and here we are this is the number one dive bar in North Carolina. This is called the Fat Pelican. This place has been here for quite some time. And it just has, it has a, it's a bar with a pulse. That's the best way I can think. I mean, it just has so much going on. You can't help but to just stare at it. I mean, look at that. Is that not cool? check it out up there on the top it's like a, this is a roadside attraction right here in carolina beach you have to come check this out this is really neat right there looks got some decor up there the fat pelican and look at this old fat pelican sign this thing has been out here forever as long as i can remember seaside suds look at that hippies use the side door <laughs> That is so awesome. And then when you venture back here, this is an outdoor, like a like a little private beach area. You can just sit back there and get your drinks and hang out. It's pretty cool. 
So I give you a little bit of uh, backstory or some facts about this place. So the Fat Pelican was voted the best dive bar in North Carolina according to bestthingsinnc.com. So it's, uh, it's been around for more than 30 years and they have a motto, beer is love. That is the Fat Pelican motto. And there are over 350 beer flavors inside these walls here. And it's pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been in, but very unique. They have a walk-in refrigerator, more or less, and that's where they keep all their beers. And you will walk in the refrigerator and just pick out what you want. And once you get your beer out of the refrigerator, they have like a little pay window right there close by. And you just walk up and pay for your beer, then you can come outside. They have a, a lot of different places indoors that you can, you know, kind of hang out like little nooks and stuff. It, I wish I could go in. They're not open right now, obviously, because it's still quite early in the morning time. But this is a very interesting spot to come have a cold one and hang out with your friends and just chill. And uh, I think that's really cool. So we have made it up here on the corner of Atlanta Avenue and South Lake Park Boulevard. And this here is the Carolina Beach Farmers Market. And this shows you the dates that it runs through May 21st through October 1st, 2022. And I'm pretty sure it's open from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday between those dates. So uh, always keep that in mind as you travel here. So I'm standing up here where the bathrooms are. I'm going to kind of pan around to show you all the tents you can see all the vendors the local vendors going around the lakeside here looks like they're quite a good turnout today actually and they also have some tents back on this side of the lake also so we got a lot of stuff to cover today so let's not waste no time i'm ready to get out here and check this place out so here is the first tent they got some artwork up here this one kind of browse through and show you a little bit of everything Look at that, that's beautiful. Look at that artwork. We got some cutting boards. So right here we have Sandy Paul's decor. It has some really nice artwork out here, some signage. Looks like they've really done a great job. I love these signs. So right here we have some lamps by John. And this is a great idea. I like what he's doing here. He's got these, uh, these old bottles, right? And this is how he's recycling. He just turns them into lamps. And we have all these college teams you put your light bulb in there and put your lampshade on it and you're good to go. Look at this Jack Daniels bottle he actually turned. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Got some vodka. That is really cool. I really like that. And then he's got all these uh, NFL teams over here to the side. The, uh, he's got the Giants, he's got the Dallas Cowboys, Pittsburgh Steelers. Now here we got the Carolina Panthers. He's even got an old Washington Redskin. We got the Rams. We have you covered. He's got a little bit of everything here. There's some Tampa Bay Bucks for all my Florida friends. I really like that. Anybody knows me knows I've um, I have. A, a real interest in the Fort Fisher Hermit and he's kind of a local legend hero type of a person that lived in this area many many years ago back in the 60s and I actually I think my second YouTube video that I ever posted was about the Fort Fisher Hermit we'll put a link in the description below if you would like to watch it and uh, it was my second video so it might be a little rougher around the edges than my newer stuff not that i'm great now but yeah i really like that there is a hermit in each of us and this here is his business weather wood creations and he makes tables 
So the next booth we have here is the Cape Fear Fossils, handcrafted shark tooth jewelry. And this is really cool, really interesting. So he's actually got seashells and it actually, he's, he's embedded uh, the shark tooth in it with like some resin over it. I really think that's awesome. That is so cool. They are. I can't Very sell pretty. Them, I make them, but they're just you can just buy you a whole a little canister of uh, shark tea for ten bucks. And the prices looks like they're about forty-five dollars and forty dollars, depending on I guess how big the tooth is and the shell. And then he's got some rings over here. Then over here he has he got like some keychain versions of it yeah, and then we got some earrings up here for you ladies so the next place is animal puzzles individually hand cut wool crafted by Scott right here is his information and so they make these wood and they do like that's actually like a puzzle yeah I'd be curious to see Yep. Okay. Check that out. It's like a Bigfoot. Yes, so always keep in mind. Those are 10 bucks. It's really nice. Got a dragon. Oh, that's all me there. Bacon. Keychain holder. Got some dinosaurs. Buffalo. There's a cat. That's actually a puzzle. You can see the grooves in it. So here is the PVC Bird Lady, Southport, North Carolina. This made her way over here. And let me show you something. This here is what these art pieces of birds are made from is uh, just PVC piping. And check them out. <laughs> it's pretty extraordinary. That is really neat looking. I mean, look at that. She's got some woodpeckers out here. How neat is that? So this next area is the uh, 341 furniture and I really like these tables. Check that out man. Just a little cap opener there for a bottle. Got a little fin on them. I, I love wood craftsmanship like that. It just looks so neat. So beachy. Jaws and took a bite of it. So this next tent's pretty cool. We have the Carolina Cannabis Creations. Right here is their website, made with CBD, nature's finest ingredients. 
oils, tropical bath bombs, pet products, handcrafted in Wilmington, North Carolina, another local vendor company. So they have items here for some pain, arthritis, things of that nature. Come in really handy for some of you nice people out there. Right here we have their card. So here's their bath bombs. So there you go. You can come by and visit them. They're really nice people and they will help you out and hook you straight up. <laughs> Got some local honey here. And of course you can't come somewhere without a farmer's market without some bull peanuts here in the southeast. I'm not a bull peanuts type of person. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. <laughs> Brighter days coffee. People lined up for the coffee this morning. I gotta say my crush and grind vanilla latte was mighty mighty tasty. And also here at the Carolina Beach Farmers Market, we have live entertainment. And over there, some sunscreen, some fresh salsa. Look at all those watermelons back there. This is a great time of year to be buying those sweet North Carolina watermelons. And they got the Cape Fear rum cake over here. And I like those Jolly Roger flags. I know it's funny, I woke up this morning, it was kind of pretty cloudy outside, still very overcast, and I got kind of excited. I thought, oh good, it's gonna be a cool morning to go out and walk around the Carolina Beach Farmers Market, but <clears throat> at 7 a.m. when I was moving around this morning, getting ready to come over here, it was already 86 degrees. 100% humidity and a dew point of probably about 73, 74. So my forehead, even though there's no sun, is just beaded right now. I mean, I just you can just feel the moisture in the air. It is so humid out here. We are rocking out back there. Listen to him. So that hibiscus and the jasmine rose are our newest ones so far. But our immunity right here, this is our like number one bestseller. This one and we have like a raspberry lemon um, or a lemon raspberry twist is what it is. They're very similar in taste, but this one has the elderberry. So you get all those antioxidants oh, yeah. and good stuff from that. Um, as well as this detox tea too. That one's great for like gut, colon, and you have the biloba or what's that? Ginkgo biloba. <laughs> mouthful and that one's so good for like your energy boosting and stuff and anything that you're drinking liquid you're absorbing into your gut you're gonna feel it all over awesome. so nice <laughs> thank you so yeah, much of course thank y'all for stopping by and including us queen esther t is the brand um adrian errington um is she is the lady who runs the brand she blends all the teas herself sources all the herbs herself um and esther was her grandmother and okay. that's who the business is named after awesome yeah and they do all of that uh in carolina beach oh that's really cool mm -hmm. I love local yes yeah, so local she does these markets there's a couple downtown markets as well and um there's a new restaurant that opened up recently downtown it's called um it's called the kitchen sink uh-huh they carry her teas in there and she does some blending as well okay there too yeah. all right cool thank you so much i appreciate yeah, that thank you yeah so the next one the little peddler this is really cool right here is her card information but i definitely want to stop by here to show her artwork that she has made i really like these pieces i don't have a website but i went on facebook and i 
Are you from where we are? I am from Okay. I'm leaving today. Oh, okay. I like that. That's a good idea. That's pretty cool. I love, I love great ideas. That is so neat. What a cool way to display your wine bottle and wine glasses. So we have this next tent here. This is keepsakes from Carolina and Curie Beach. They got clocks, tide clocks, ornaments, magnets, and bookmarks. If you like this sort of thing, this is a good place to go. I have a Jeep. I love my Jeep. <laughs> I love my Jeep Wrangler. This is wood engraved magnets right here. Nice little vacation keepsakes as you visit the Carolina Beach area. I like that right there. Beach vibes. Anytime I post something about the beach, that is always one of my hashtags. That VW van with the surfboard is pretty rad. I like that. Here's some ornaments. Very subtle but very effective, man. I really like this artwork. All right, give this guy a look up if you come down here. He's got a lot of neat stuff. Look at these megda megalodon shark teeth. So here we have another tent. I really like the artwork here. I love this type of stuff. And these are quite big pieces of artwork. You actually see a little bit of a stingray beneath the water. And this is like a resin finish on it. It's very nice. Got the American flag. And they have some little bit different artwork here without the resin woodwork. Here's her information. And craft at home decor. She does all this work herself. And she is also local right here in Carolina Beach. So you definitely come by and give her a shout and support her. Gotta support local. All right, we did it. This was a fun day today. I really enjoyed my time at the Carolina Beach Farmer's Market. Got to meet a lot of really nice people, some cool vendors that work with us on uh, showing their products. We got some business cards, we bought some items, and uh, I can't wait to get home and try this tea out that we bought from the, uh, the nice lady. So um, that being said, that will conclude our video today. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. If you like today's content and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Put in the comment section down below anything you would like to comment about. I will try to help you out in any way I can. And so remember, next time you're on vacation here at Carolina Beach, or maybe you just live around, don't forget about the Carolina Beach Farmer's Market. A lot of really great things out here to, uh, to buy and support local vendors. That being said, 
this is all hey <laughs> i'm so hot this was a very stifling morning even though it's overcast i am just sweating so i think i'm gonna go put on my shorts now and uh, go jump in the ocean and cool off a bit i will see you guys in the next vlog hitchhiking yeti is out <laughs> y'all have a great safe day so long bye